know, a couple of years ago, uh, Taurus introduced their 14 shot shell, 45 Colt combination revolvers. Uh, a lot of people like those. They're probably one of the hottest selling revolvers on the planet right now. Uh, they're real handy for close range self-defense or for shooting snakes or anything like that, good trail gun. But uh, they're real efficient with the 45 uh, Colt cartridge and with the 14 shot shell. Um, anyway, now they've got this, it's the carbine version of it. Or shotgun, whichever you want to call it, it's kind of confusing. But uh, when we run the run the numbers on it to buy it the other day, ATF didn't know what to call it. But anyway, we got it worked out. We got the gun here. Uh, this has got the three-inch cylinder on it, so it can use any 14 shot shell on this. Um, it's got little shields here to keep it from burning your arm, like a lot of used to be a problem with some uh, revolving carbines. But anyway, it's a a lot more accurate than I ever thought it would be. I was really surprised at the accuracy of this thing with 45 Colt. I was expecting four or five inch groups at 25 yards. It will cluster them all into an inch all day. Anyway, it's got a good high comb stock on it. Nice recoil pad. Holds five shots. Uh, one of my favorite loads for it is uh, it take these uh, three inch five shot, uh, five pellet buck shots, which is good. But this uh, PDX-1 that Winchester come out with. It's got three flattened discs and 12 BB pellets in it. Real efficient, dandy little uh, cartridge for self-defense. Anyway, I've uh, been waiting on this circuit judge to come out for a while, and uh, we're gonna shoot it a little bit, and just play with it today and demonstrate the power, low recoil, and how handy this thing is. You know, we're gonna shoot this with some of this PDX-1 ammo. Like I said, it's got 12 BBs and three flattened discs in it. Uh, we're gonna shoot the target with that. A typical across the room distance, like about 21 feet. Uh, size of most you know bedrooms or down the hall or whatever show what it'll do the pattern size at that range but one, Another thing I want to talk about is these uh blast shields on here. I've been shooting this thing uh, With no sleeves on my arms or anything just to make sure I felt nothing It throws out no gas no powder residue or anything on the shooter's arm So they've really designed that well to protect the shooter on a shooting 